great to see you back here again. You came back last season for the West Ham game. Just tell us what that was like to be back at the stadium for the first time. It's uh, always very emotional because uh, it's like a film going through your head, you know. And the memories come in, flowing in, and uh, it's very difficult to select the emotions because you're flooded by uh, many emotional situations that you experienced before. On that front, it's not easy. On the other hand, uh, you are happy because you feel you're back home. For example, yesterday, uh, Arsenal played against Monaco. Monaco Arsenal is 29 years of my life, of my career. So here is the strongest part of it, of course, and uh, I worked for this club when I had uh, the experience and uh, capacity to have the bigger picture. Uh, many times I said I want uh, as well to work, to prepare this club, uh, to go even higher up after me, and I think uh, I wish every day that that happens now. It must be strange for you, though, to come here and be relaxed and enjoy it, because whenever you were sitting down there, you were concentrated, focused. Yes, How different is it? But I still kick every ball, you know, and I still look at the decisions made on the bad decisions and the good decisions as well. So the tension is still there, but not the same. It's not comparable. I think if I was here every week, I would be much more uh, tensed. But uh, when I come back once at a time, I uh, want as well to enjoy, to see friends, to have a good taste of the atmosphere here. I see it all positive. And you played a huge part in, from the beginning of this project to build Emirates Stadium mm. and the design. How proud are you now that you see that new generation and you've, you've passed it on to the next generation? I'm uh, very proud, you know, because I feel uh, that uh, the effort and the suffering that was there with it uh, was worth it. Now the, the club is in good hands. Uh, Mikel Arteta and Edu, I had them as a player. I bought Edu when he played in Corinthians and uh, Mikel Arteta when he was at Everton and uh, they are guiding well the club so I can look at it in a relaxed way. <laughs> when you left you said this is a love story that will never end with Arsenal. Five mm -hmm. years on how do you feel? Five years on, I feel uh, strongly attached and linked to the club. The attachment is unbelievably strong. It's funny because uh, it's Arsenal and Arsenal, you know, it looks like the desti my destiny. We are all uh, individuals who have one way to do, our own way, and it looks like my way had to stop here and to start here. And uh, so I'm grateful for that. From the first day I walked in this club, I always felt some special attachment that is a mixture of uh, history and desire to innovate because they, they gave me the opportunity to manage here at a time where it was not obvious and I will always be grateful for that. You also said when you left that you wanted to come back and shout at the manager from the North Bank so what, what would you <laughs> shout at the manager now if you were in the North Bank? Well uh, win all the games. <laughs> when you want come on the day, you just look at the decision made and uh, the way the team plays. It's as well an unknown part, uh, you know, the energy available in the team on the day. And uh, there's always a lot of unknown uh, when you walk out there. But I feel that uh, Mikel is uh, doing well and uh, uh, making uh, right decisions, uh, having an organized team and uh, who, uh, for me, now uh, can challenge for the championship. We did it last year. Let's get over the line this year. Yeah, how excited are you then for this new season under Mikel Arteta? Well, I'm confident because uh, last year, with eight games to go, I always felt we will do it. And uh, we invested again a lot uh, this year and the strengths and well the squad. So overall, I feel I'm happy, very happy with the three signings. We have all uh, the tools and uh, to, to do well and uh, to challenge for the championship. And we know finally that you went into the dressing room after the game against Monaco yesterday, you met some of the players and the staff. Mm. What was that like for you? What message did you have for them? Well, it's uh, a known territory, you know, I managed 1,235 games. Uh, I took care of every detail in the dressing room, so I'm happy they're still uh, there and uh, very functional and useful. and. Uh, it's always nice to test, to speak to the players, to uh, reassure them, you know, they all always look, of course, 
for confidence when you want to be uh, when you play you want to make the maximum of your career so it's always nice to speak to them because it's a language i know i feel it's a little bit uh, a language apart a sport language but uh, i'm familiar to that and i'm always happy to speak to the players it's been a massive outpouring of love from the arsenal community for you and today again for the statue do you have a message um, for everybody that maybe you could talk into the into Well, the I, I just would like to personally to thank them for their support and uh, I meet so many people. I travel a lot in, uh, around the world and uh, I would say that uh, be proud of the values that this club generates because at the end of the day that is the most important. And uh, so you have chosen the right club, you support the right club. And uh, personally, I would like to thank you as well for supporting me. And uh, together, I think we will achieve great things in the future and support well this club. Thank you.